So I'm at the hotel and uh, it's the day before the fights. Today we had the registration and uh, we got to uh, try out the gear, uh, try out the gloves, the rash guards, the shorts and the shin guards. And uh, took a photo for the fights, you know, for the monitors when they call you up and uh, when you make your walk and they put your picture up there on the big monitor. I haven't had any real food in like two days. Um, we left Gothenburg at around 12, got to the airport and uh, we landed in Istanbul, Turkey. Then the plane took off uh, to Bahrain at nine in the uh, evening. We got to Bahrain around uh, one in the morning. Then we got to the hotel and the hotel was packed like everyone competing is staying at the hotel so the lobby was just full of fighters full of people cutting weight and the line was moving really slow so we arrived at 1 we got to our room at 5 in the morning then we woke up at 9 had a small breakfast and we had the registrations at 10 then we went to try out the gear you know all that stuff and there's a lot of a lot of time wasted waiting and the hotel is packed. Getting into the elevator can take you 10 minutes, but it's all right though. Today is just relaxing, just trying to conserve energy, do a light stretch, break a sweat, and just, just relax, you know? Not get too hyped up, not get too mellow, but just trying to stay focused because tomorrow is gonna to be very important. The first fight is the most important one. Of course, you gotta win the first fight because if you don't, well, you're gonna have a long week watching other people compete um, but I'm feeling good I'm feeling stronger than ever focused and uh, and when the cage door shuts and the bell rings I'm gonna put my foot on the gas and and go for it you know I'm not gonna not gonna give anything and I'm gonna take everything so I'm just planning on enjoying this day. Bahrain is beautiful. Um, I can't even believe I'm here. Like it feels surreal being here. The hotel is huge. Wherever you go, you see posters about the IMF championships and uh, we're being treated like uh, real pros here. The staff is great. Um, the country is beautiful. There's a big mosque right next to the hotel so you can you can hear the uh, the calls to prayers and it gives me goosebumps, man. It's my first time in the Middle East. It's nice. I can't believe I'm here. Final lightweight division bout of the day sees Nermin Nemedegic from Sweden. Two and one in his career in the blue corner. Tobias Zako Storm, Denmark in the red. And Nemedegic fast across 
the cage towards his Danish opponent. The shorter of the two spins with the kick. You can see the height advantage for Storm to the floor and work him in his own corner now, Storm. Continues to look first for the single, then the double. Shifts and drops his weight. hooks in, here he goes, we'll look to flatten this man out, dangerous times for Stormy, and here we go, the rear naked choke is on, pulling tightly, dangerous times for Storm now, Mamedajic has got this on pretty tight here, he's got those hooks in, he's pulling back, flattening his opponent out, this could be it for Storm, I thought there was the tap there, it is now, it's all over, Storm tapped out in the opening round. Once that rear naked choke was sunk in, Nermin Memedijic wasn't going to let it go. He goes through in the lightweight division with a first round rear naked choke submission. Storm did all he could, but once it was on, he tightened it up and goes through with minimal damage. You can see what it means to the Swede. One of the top teams in IMAF and a top, top finish. Sweden goes through by virtue of that rear naked choke in the opening round, so he'll be fresh and ready for tomorrow. Okay. All right, guys, I won my first fight. Uh, I fought Denmark in, uh, in the opening round. Uh, I knew who he was before we fought because I've, I've seen him fight both in, in the leagues in Scandinavia and uh, I saw him compete in the Euros, uh, in the European Championships in Rome. Fought a very tough guy, um, but it felt good. Uh, I pressured him. He was a tall striker, so he had reach on me, and I, my plan was, uh, basically I didn't really have a plan other than just pressuring him, just putting a lot of pressure on him and taking away that, uh, the range, you know, either be close enough to connect with hard shots or be far enough to play the range game where I feel confident, where I can use my kicks and long distance strikes. But I wasn't gonna sit in that mid range and get, you know, jabbed and let him use his reach on me. I wasn't gonna let that happen. I landed some kicks. I don't really remember that much. I haven't really seen the full fight. I'm gonna post it. Such a great feeling. Like when you fight a tough guy like that, you, you can't guarantee a win. You can never guarantee a win. You can never guarantee the outcome. So all you can do is just focus on the process and really focus on um, your performance. That's all I wanted to do. I was pretty much on weight when I went to sleep. A lot of guys were cutting weight, but oh, the lights went out. I made sure that my weight was going to be on point when I woke up, and it was. I was actually half a kilo under, 500 grams under. And that's just from sweating <laughs> during the night and going to the bathroom in the morning. And uh, from all the water I was drinking. Remember, if you watch the vlog uh, leading up to this, I told you I was drinking loads of water. Well, it paid dividends because the weight dropped like really easy. Hopefully the same thing is going to happen tomorrow. Um, but uh, anyway, this morning I woke up, made weight, started refueling, like drinking a... I, I drank like two liters of Gatorade, uh, grape flavor, I love grape, I was so happy when I saw they had that, and coconut water, rehydrated, ate a big like really carb heavy uh, breakfast, the breakfast they have at the hotel is crazy, like <laughs> we're talking 
like the usual stuff like omelets and eggs and sausage and all that but they have fucking donuts and pancakes and, and chocolate sauce and you best believe I ate that because you want to load up with carbs I'm gonna be using carbs you know you don't want you don't want to eat like a lot of fat or protein because that can take like 16 hours to digest and you want you want white like the bad carbs the bad carbs because those just go straight into your system like glucose straight into your muscles we got to the hotel uh, went to sleep woke up kept drinking went to sleep like slept through slept at least four extra hours and then me and the guys were like all right let's go handle business I went to the arena um, the arena was packed like every fighter was in the same room like warming up and it was crazy people stepping on people people wrestling and, and you really got to watch your step you know uh, you mess around and you get a big uh, Russian guy throwing his buddy on you you know it was a good day warmed up had one one mission and uh, we pulled it off pulled it off one day at a time just one day at a time don't think too too much ahead who am I fighting tomorrow or what if I win who am I gonna fight then nah man just one day at a time